In this video, I want to talk about a couple of the dynamic mouse uh, gestures that you can help control uh, viewing the part. So here on the screen, I have this part. It's actually fairly large. If I uh, double click the stock, open up the stock properties here, you can see it's 30 inches long by 12 inches wide. And I want to kind of focus on uh, this little corner over here. But as I roll the mouse wheel, you can kind of see that it goes off the screen. It's kind of hard to, to you know, how do I zoom in on this area? Uh, so one little trick is if you put the cursor over in that area and you hold the control key, um, that area, now I'm rolling the mouse wheel, will come towards the center of the screen. I wanted to go focus on this corner over here, hold the control key, roll my wheel. A mouse wheel and it comes toward the center of the screen. So I use that a lot. Uh, something else is if I zoom in and try to rotate the part, notice how you know that the area that I want to focus on is this area here, but it keeps kind of rolling off the screen. So I'm always getting in the habit of holding that control key. So if I put it over here to the right and scroll, notice that will move towards the center. Another little trick is if I want to focus on this area, I'm just going to drag my mouse and let go and select this area here. Then you can right mouse click and say center selected or hold the control and hit the E, but I'm going to say center selected. So that area scrolls in. Uh, I'm going to hit my alternate R, which is a refresh just to smooth it out a little bit. But the nice thing about center selected is if I hold my mouse wheel down and rotate, that always stays centered on the screen. And notice it's not rolling off the screen. So again, I will drag a box, let go, select that area, right mouse click, center selected. Then when I rotate, it always stays in the center of the screen.